And you know what she did? She said, oh, don't cry anymore. Mm -hmm. Come with me. I'm going to give you food. And then we went to her house. And you know what she did? Mm -hmm. She gave me like spoiled food. Rice. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Malika. It's yet another beautiful day. I get to hang out with very, very nice people, good friends. And today I bring Madam Tara. MD. <laughs> yeah, she's a friend of mine, and we were supposed to meet today to do my shoot, my birthday photo shoot, and we decided to just do this random vlog that we didn't plan about. And before I continue, guys, have you subscribed to my channel? Because if you haven't, you don't even know what you've been missing. Kindly consider subscribing, join this channel, and. My friend is also a YouTuber, right? My friend is also a YouTuber. We're going to do another video with her. You're going to watch it on her channel. Please tell them the name of your channel. It goes by the name Madam MD. Madam MD. Uh -huh. What do you do, <laughs> Madam MD? Uh, most of the time I post interviews. Mm -hmm. You find me there cooking once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'm going to leave her link in the description box. Please make sure you subscribe to her. Show her some love. And today, guys, I just wanted to talk about uh, something, you know, like I really, really appreciate some very, very small things in life, very small blessings. And someone said to me that I love appreciating small, small things like and I just wanted to talk with my friend here because we have not a similar experience, but somehow we've, all, we've also had our experiences. Right. Mm -hmm. So. I want us to compare this I want us to compare our experiences and maybe you guys you've also had the same same thing. So stay tuned guys. So number one guys, someone was very very shocked because of the fact that I was appreciating the that I have a television. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You know like when I bought my TV I was very very happy and I was happy because me I didn't grow up watching TV in our house. So me a TV is a big deal. If it's not a big deal to you, to me it's a big deal. But you know, me I used to like go to my neighbor's house, like at the window, <laughs> find a, a place where I can peep, you know, so that I can, watch. can watch. Not watch any pro pr program that I had, like a favorite program or something, mm -hmm. but just watch TV. Even if it's an interview of something that I don't know about, no, as that? long as it's a TV in front of me. What's that one program that made you go to the neighbor's house? Wrestling. <laughs> Let's start with wrestling. Reso, guy, <laughs> nani akwana watch Reso? Hey, Marika, wrestling, Marika, wrestling. Marika, hey, I loved wrestling. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have a TV. So, one day my mom found me at a neighbor's window. Nili pigo aki. Kwa stool nimepanda ju. Someone's window, just peeping, watching Reso. <laughs> Me, like, me, when I bought a TV, I was very happy. I won't even hide it to you because at least I know, like, my child will get a chance of, like, watching their own TV. Yeah. And like us, we used to go to watch at our neighbors. So, I feel so blessed to own a TV. Ooh. Yeah. Same case to me. Okay, for me, it's not a TV. Mm -hmm. I think, let me say, the first thing that ever, ever excited me is yeah. coming to Nairobi. Wow. Oh my guys. Oh my guys. Like in my whole life I, I had never came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So I came during when I was joining campus. Mm -hmm. And have you ever been excited? Like I came a week earlier and I even told my mom not to bring me. Like I wanted to just go and feel that freedom of being out of the house, out of Ushago and you're going to Nairobi back to Sumbua people like, Hey, I've been to Nairobi, you know? When you go home and you're like I'm just from Nairobi, so I'll be here for like one week and then I'll go back. Hey, Nairobi was a big deal. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to me that was not a big deal because I was raised in Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, but I can relate with you. I can really, really, I, I know what you're talking about because the excitement of doing something for the very first time. Yeah, me yes. another. Th oh, you have another thing? No, I'm saying plus you come from a village where there are no, uh, like people have not been out like they are just within the, the village, village. Yeah. so you feel yeah. excited going out yeah, yeah. <laughs> i feel you 100 <laughs> percent me another thing that i the fact that i usually appreciate nowadays is mm -hmm. the fact that nowadays you can just cook chapati anytime you feel like ah. you know like you can just go like today you decide like today i want to eat chapo and just, just go cook. buy and mm -hmm. the flour and cook because it was a big deal chapo <laughs> 
Kai, when you go, when your mom sends you to your neighbors and then you find them cooking chapo, mm. hey, you're not leaving that place <laughs> until they finish and they give you one. Yeah. Chapati was a big deal. Hmm? Leave alone that. There's this where your mom is cooking chapati and you're not supposed even to take a single one yeah. until they are done cooking and it's time to eat. So hey, nowadays I feel ah, like you can cook and taste. Even if you want to taste three chapatis, no one is even asking you. Ay, that's a blessing yeah, because yeah. me chapati was a big deal to us. Chapo was a really big deal to us because we were only eating chapatis during like holidays mm -hmm. and Christmas. And there's this one Christmas we didn't have money, mm -hmm. so we didn't eat chapo on that oh. day. We ate ugali mm -hmm. and cabbage. So the neighbor's houses, everyone was cooking chapo and we were not allowed to step out of the house because my mom knew. You know, we are kids. We're going, we're definitely going to go to people's houses because of the chapos. Mm -hmm. So me, I still appreciate the fact that I can cook chapo anytime I want to right now and if i want to cook chapati today i can cook chapati and it's a no blessing restrictions to how you're supposed to eat them yeah like you know long ago people used to like sh divide yours three mine three yeah. and everyone's three so if you're done with yours yeah i remember like we used to have you, Malika. Yeah. No, sorry for interfering no it's okay did you ever slept with a chapati and then you susued <laughs> Guys, did you ever do that? What? <laughs> you slept eating a chapati, like yeah, you, you, yeah. you, you are like you're given a chapati, but you don't want to eat the whole of it, mm. so that your your brother or your sister mm. will not. Um, you don't want to you... keep it far away from you. Yeah. So you, you go with it to, to bed. bed. So you, at night you mm. just tell your brother, you know, you you share the bed. Uh. So like, oh, I have a chapati. <laughs> you you are caught up by sleep, and mm -hmm. I, I, at night you. Okay. You you so the on the in chapo. The morning you're sleeping on the chapati. It's bed, it's <laughs> <laughs> I, the things we have gone things. through. The things we've gone through. Hey. Another thing that me I don't take for granted is the fact that. Uh, okay, I know chapati is part of food, mm -hmm. but also eating food like having three meals a day. Uh -huh. hey, me, that one is. I, I that one is a big deal to me. It's a blessing. You know, like guys, I'm talking like this because I know my where I was raised. Like. The struggles we had. Yeah. Used to go to school very early in the morning. You've not taken breakfast. You're going to school. There's no lunch. And then when you come out of school, you're expecting like maybe you'll find some food at home. And then there's no food. So what we, I used to do, like every time, most of the, not every day of course, most of the time when I come from school, mm. in the evening when I reach my door, I straight to the kitchen. If there's no food, I will sit outside the door and start crying. Like, why are you crying? I'm crying because I don't have food. I haven't eaten. I'm hungry. And there's this particular time, mm -hmm. there's this neighbor of mine. She came. It was a woman. Yeah. She found me crying. And she was, why are you crying? Of course, me, I, I, you are a child. You have to say, I'll say, like, I'm crying because I didn't eat lunch and I'm hungry. And you know what she did? She said, oh, don't cry anymore. Mm -hmm. Come with me. I'm going to give you food. And then we went to her house. And you know what she did? Mm -hmm. She gave me, like, spoiled food. Rice. It was even watery and like sticky, but I ate. I was very, very hungry. I ate it. Me, I ate. I was hungry. Okay, like when you're eating, mm -hmm. you, 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 I could, you could feel the it. smell and everything, but eh, hey, me, I was hungry. I was hungry, and then you couldn't like, eh, hey, manze, to me talk ambali, to me talk ambali. It's been like hey. talking of that, you mm. know, uh, also from my side, mm. with, from this humble background, mm. and my mom could really work hard to get even okay those three meals so sometimes she could go out to come late at night mm -hmm. you in the house the whole day you mm -hmm. don't have anything to eat mm -hmm. so you could just go to the we could just go to the neighbors and we are like give us a packet of unga mm -hmm. when my mom comes in the evening we'll pay. we return mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but now you get used you get used until sometimes the neighbors say hey and you know, sometimes you'd not even return. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> maybe she'll come with one packet and that's the only packet you're supposed to cook tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't return. But we thank God. Hey, we thank God here. things have changed right now. At mm -hmm. least we can afford things. Yeah. We can afford to buy ourselves food. Mm -hmm. We can afford to buy our children food. And that's the most important the thing. Most important. Me, I feel so blessed because of these things. Mm -hmm. Because, man, life back then, I wouldn't want anyone to live that kind of life right now. It was hard. It was hard and I know my parents tried their best. I know they tried. And the one thing is just, I just want to make them proud. 
I just want to make them proud. And before I forget another thing, one more last thing, yeah. the fact that I get a ch- I, I got a chance like to fly for the first time. Me to me, it was a domestic flight, yeah. but it's such a big deal. I mean, it is, it is a big deal what? to me. It is a very very Some big of deal us to have me. Have never been to. Airport, hey. flies, like you could just see the planes fly all over. You could us. have seen me inside the plane. Everyone, I, I, I guess, everyone was used to flying. So like everyone is sleeping. I'm like, why the hell are they sleeping? How, they don't how want are you to. Even eh. sleep? Kai, why are they sleeping? <laughs> me, I was busy, and then I had a window seat. Eh, hey, I was busy peeping outside. My phone <laughs> everywhere. Eh, hey, I was even worried. They was like, like tell me now, stop filming, right? Not stop filming. But me, mm-hmm. eh, hey, me, I don't take these things for granted. You know, I, I also wish that one day I'll fly. You see, you're anxious. You want to meet yeah. me. It was a dream. And but it came I'm also true. that coward person. I, I don't know if I fear height or I fear being on a plane. Okay. In a plane. Me, I didn't care. Yeah. I didn't even care or what. <laughs> me, I just wanted, like, I'm flying for the you very didn't first have that time. anxiety that mm-hmm. like, what will happen. I didn't sleep that night. Like, the, let's see, we were flying, like, tomorrow, uh, very early in the morning. Yeah. I didn't even sleep that night. And I didn't even feel sleepy inside the plane or what. I was very, very okay. Salika, before we end, uh-huh. let me ask you. You know nowadays you joke a lot with your mom. Me? Could you ever tell <laughs> that when you were young? <laughs> no, me, my mom. No, eh, no. It's because like now, you know, you, you're, a, you're a grown up. Yeah. Even my dad, like right now, I usually feel sometimes like I fear him. <laughs> what are those things that you used to do when you were young and you felt like you, your mom was overreacting or your dad was overreacting, you know? When you're young, you wish that you make such small jokes with your parents, but they are so, so serious. I mean, I think my parents were so serious. Like, you want to play, you just want to play, and then you're being called, like, come, it's time for reading. (laughs) Ah, you're like, mom, I'm just playing. Like, no, you're watching TV at a neighbor's, you're being called. You know, like, TV, as I said, is a big deal. Come, hey, mom, Menita, what what did you want? Books, books, books. You're like... (laughs) Really? <laughs> hey, I feel like I, they were overdoing it. I think you really appreciate now that yeah. you're so open to your parents and you can do anything. Yeah. Uh, like Marika can do pranks on her mom. Ah, right what? now I can do the pranks. I, I think can I should try the, that too. Try it out. <laughs> no, I don't think it can work with my mom. <laughs> no, so try that thing. I'll try one. Yes. Like guys, what are what are the things that you they seem they sound very little and That's to really other people they are just like normal things, but you really appreciate because you know your background. Mm-hmm. Have you gone through life, through hard life growing up? Like let me know. Leave a comment below. Mm-hmm. Let me know, guys. And by now, I hope all of you watching you've already subscribed. Because if you haven't subscribed, you're eh, missing. You're missing out. <laughs> and also, mm-hmm. one more reminder, guys, don't forget to go over to her channel and support her. Please, Let's support please. her. Support her, guys. She's <laughs> such a nice girl. She's such a nice person. Mm-hmm. She's such we a vibe. We are to 1,000 subscribers. So, guys, get to Madam MD's channel. Hit that <laughs> subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And don't forget to watch my videos to the end. So, guys, see you on the next video, guys. Love you so much. Bye. Okay.